In today's video, we are building another view suggested engine. Common goes as follows. Extract the most power out of an inline 6 with the engine without sacrificing reliability or affordability. So thank you for that wonderful suggestion and also we're going to be doing a German base engine which is going to be the Mercedes M256 engine. Which is an inline 6 engine, we do the 3 liter variant and also this thing is going to be pretty crazy. Because I'm hoping for reliability around 30-40% and also a power figure of around 1000 horsepower. Note we're not using nitro meth today, we're using regular fuel which would be Super 98. Which isn't really a normal fuel per se in air quotes, but it's still a good enough fuel for us to use. It will also do us a big favor by uh, stopping most of the detonation and fixing some of my tuning errors. Because I've got to do a whole lot of that. <laughs> And also if you have a VR suggested engine that you would like to see come in, do let me know down below and also while you're down there do let me know what is your favorite Mercedes product. If you have one, do let me know. I love reading you guys' comments and it makes my day. Anyways, back to this engine. We're making well over 617 horsepower, doing minor tuning, fixing our turbocharger, making sure we can have somewhat of a power band. Because I might do this engine in a later video, might use it in a vehicle if I... Uh, if I choose to do so. I've also been toying with the idea of putting some of my engines into Beam and Gym. So uh, I'm, I'm still figuring out how to do that so I'll keep you guys in the loop and if you want any updates or behind the scenes content of the channel that I'm gonna be start posting soon on uh, X or Twitter as it was formerly known as. The channel's name is at the official curious gamer 20 it will be down in the description as well underneath all the stuff I keep down there but anyway thank you for that so uh, let's get back to the video because this engine is starting to turn up pretty great so we're making close to a thousand horsepower now by just doing some tuning and also doing a little more head stuff which is important I'm not pushing this, this engine too hard I'm just keeping it somewhat realistic in air quotes because some of the stuff that this game does is uh, <laughs> not realistic in any sense but uh, it's still fun to build engines to make a whole lot of power so our affordability is pretty good, we're at $7,333.9 I presume it's in. And also reliability, which is the one I have focused the most on, is at 63.7%. So if that's just a ballpark figure or just a regular figure, it's still fine, we just went down a little bit. I'm looking for around 1,500 horsepower, give or take where I want to end up. If we can end up there without costing too much and also keeping around 50% of our reliability is where I would be pretty happy with this engine. And so far we are accomplishing both goals pretty easily. For price I'm looking to stay around $10,000 which isn't too much. It's also not very cheap but it's, it's ballpark. If I have to convert that to uh, other dollarinos that would be pretty bad but anyway. 1400 horsepower on an inline 6 engine which is 3 liters big is not too bad. We're not having much of a power band but it's, uh, it's sacrificial as they say. That's good. And also a, another video that I have coming Monday is an Italian special which is a 1.7 liter engine which is actually an oddball size. I've never heard of a 1.7 liter. I've heard of 1.6, 1.8, 1.5, 2 liter. Also 1.9 oddly enough because well diesel engines. So yes, enough rambling. We gotta do two dyno runs, one looking at this beautiful engine and one looking at the craft. So hopefully this thing sounds pretty good. We'll see. Holy cow, this engine actually sounds pretty good and we're making good power, so I think we accomplished our goal for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, hit that like button. And if you stayed to this part of the video, thank you. Consider hitting that subscribe button because uh, I've got more content coming in the near future and it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.